Thank you. 
Divergent people back on Earth. Thank you for answering my question. Observations from your answers, you would fit in on Odara. So I'd love for you to come visit sometime. But until then, hello. I'm just so curious, but first 
Greetings, human. Thank you for the opportunity to speak with you. Please let me know if you do not understand my attempt at your language. I am very excited to examine your ears, if that would be acceptable to you. As my kind do not have ears, we have antenna and Our antenna relays sound information directly into our brains. I am not certain how it works with human ears. Would it be alright if I use a scanning device with which to gather some information? Thank you. This should not hurt. side. 
as you did not bite me, I assume that it would be agreeable to you if I were to touch your ears with my phalanges. Thank you. Your ears are quite spongy. This I was not expecting. <sighs> Thank you for allowing me to gather this information. I look forward to going over the data and hopefully We'll get another opportunity to speak with you again in the future. Mm. Oh, it's my turn. Mm. but I honestly am thinking about how I can make my thesis on humans looking gross and soft and weak. Like, your design is so inefficient. You're like a platypus. You know platypus? They have toxins. Yeah, the most poisonous of toxins. And they look so cute. In the alien world, that is not a compliment. Have you ever seen a platypus poison anything? I thought so. You're a platypus. Why? Tell me. Why do you eat with this? What is the point? This should be for breathing only. You should be eating out of your stomach. That is the closest, closest way to get, and fastest way to get nutrition. Isn't that where you digest the stomach? Be mind. I would like to examine. Oh, not that you have a choice. <laughs> You're kind of here in our class. A specimen, so don't mind if I do. Hmm. Just as I thought. Soft. Okay. The next question for you is your brain. I was told that your brain is mammals of intelligence. However, I see or sense no intelligent life anywhere in this vicinity. <laughs> Alright, well, I can test that. Can you count for me? Oh, not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. okay, reaction time is not bad, but I am 
I see sneaky suspicion that the amount of neurons in your brain is not very much. No. And you just use that thing to smell. Question for you. It's been eating away at me. Not really anything to do with my thesis, but I found this scroll. Hmm. Yes, this scroll. And um, on it, I think, are the creatures you worship. Are these the creatures that you worship? I see our faces of them. Sculptures, even. Mm -hmm. See? They're everywhere. You use your hard earned. What's that word? Currency? Money? Yes. To provide for these little gods. Correct. Why do you do that? Huh? You do not worship cats. I doubt it. I've seen your room. There's stuffed animals of cats everywhere. And you have at least two of these creatures. Hmm. Well. Yeah, that, that didn't convince me at all that you are not a worshipper of cats. Well, I think I got all the research I needed here. My name. You want to know my name? It's Lumi. Lumi Star. Okay, and I'm going to roll over all of the constellations one day, so you better be nice to me. Me be nice to you. <laughs> You're a funny specimen. Alright, I got everything I needed. Who's next? Hello? Good evening. Thank you for allowing me to question you. I appreciate it. Um, I'd like to focus on some questions involving the eyes. Is that alright? I'm a little nervous. I'm appearing as human, so, um, doesn't worry you? Oh yes, um, we're not here to talk about me, though. Let's, let's just talk about you, because I'm absolutely fascinated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I've been doing a lot of research, of course, and I'm very excited to talk to you in person and ask my questions. Um, I did a report on the skin last in a class and then this one I want to really focus on the eyes. Mm -hmm. So I see humans have two eyes. That seems like it might be a bit of a disadvantage. Do you agree? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I feel as though, um, if you have at least four or five, you can really catch all your bases. But I definitely notice that humans have just the two in the front, and I don't know, I definitely don't think you're at the top of the food chain. Oh, you are. On Earth? I didn't research that at all. Well, I don't think you would be on the other planets. 
little boring. So I'm just going to take a peek at your eyes, okay? Is that okay? Promise it won't be too bad. Hmm. That is fascinating. light, you see, where I'm from, they don't do that. We've adapted. Perhaps somewhere down your evolutionary chain, you will provide a similar adaptation. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so what can you just Look right in my artificial nose. Okay. Do all humans have colored irises? Hmm. That's fascinating. Is there a purpose to that? You don't know? Okay. Perhaps there's some sort of meaning to it. <laughs> Just take a little little measure here of your eyes. Fascinating that there's only there's only two. Strangely delightful to see such few eyes. I got one of these charts. Just wanted to see how well I can read the lines. Farther back. Nothing. Hmm. <laughs> They're definitely not as good as my map. Okay. Do you think there's any sort of advantage? You just think two looks better. Well, I picked a different but Thank you very much for allowing me to examine your eyes up close. I've read a lot about them and... I do hope that human evolution throws you uh, a few more advantages, so it was a pleasure talking with you. Thank you so much. Hello. Interesting data that we've collected. Okay. This time.
Hello, human being. It is so exciting to finally meet one of your kind. My name is... But you may call me Darcy. I am so excited to be studying here at the university. And it is a privilege to meet a human being such as yourself. Instead of asking you questions about yourself and your kind today, if you don't mind, I'd like to do a quick scan of your brain and your DNA. Now, using this crystalline device. My particular thesis and study is of junk DNA in human beings. Dormant genetic code. Basically, that human beings such as yourself actually have dormant extraterrestrial DNA and extraterrestrial abilities that you have not activated yet. I would like to do a scan of you today and my crystalline device along with these goggles will allow me to take a very close look at your makeup. Right, will that be okay with you? Perfect. It should be very pleasant and should only take a moment or two. Thank you. Alrighty then, we may begin. taking notes 
and sketching you. Can I just sketch your ears? Thank you. They're close to the right of your mind. And I want to make sure all of my notes for my report. Okay. <sighs> what is that? There's something in your head. very contagious. It's an earworm. I've heard of these before. I'm going to help you get it out real quickly. Uh, where are my tools? I dropped it on the floor. <laughs> oh, here it is. Our floors are automatically sanitizing. Yeah, you should do that on your planet. Anyway, this will help extract it. Okay. And, um, I'll take it. It's fine. It's kind of catchy, you know. study your music. That's what my report will be on. And you. Yes, of course you do. Okay. It came from here and it came from here. And it was about this long. measure sound and in time you measured in time. Okay. You know that makes a lot of sense. Here, mind? Oh. Tell you what, I'm gonna give you a gift of our music from my family. Thank you. Ow. This 
ecstatic shock M May I collect this excess electric charge from you? Thank you You may only hope for passing this class Oh no, it is dry You are sick I will take care of you Yes, I try to. I will take care of them. Why do humans deliberate over inconsequential food choices? They want fast food, but it ends up being slow. Hmm. Strange. So, I hear your species. Hear the size of talk if it is deep or small, and also can see the wings of time, and even my tetra dimensional species cannot. May I perhaps study your vision further? scary. I'm just going to take some photos of your retinas. Keep your eyes open. That's the way. says not all humans are the same. Now to look inside his Let us test each ear. Prepare with cleaning. Perfect. Very clean. For the recording. of sound from high to low. Instead, may I have some hair strands? to the Alien University Clinic. You look to be a new student, and uh, I don't have anyone in for a pre-enrollment physical, so what brings you in today? Oh, you're feeling a little bubbly. Hmm. And can you tell me what you mean by that? Everything seems kind of bubbly and poppy. What do you mean, like... Oh. Have you by chance run into one of our gummy blob students yet you did okay and did they by chance give you a hug 
they did. Okay, well, our very nice but very sticky gummy blob students who are very fond of hugs have a tendency to leave some gummy blobs behind. So you probably have a few just stuck on you. So if you just go ahead, take a seat for me, sit back, relax. I'm just gonna do a little scan on you. Just a little scan. Okay. Just check you out here. Good. All right. Everything's looking pretty normal on the readings, but I am getting a little bit of a elevated stickiness reading over here. All right. Gonna grab my light real quick. Just taking a little bit of a closer look at you. Oh yeah, there they are. Your new gummy blob friend definitely left you a few presents, but don't worry, they're completely harmless. They're just a little sticky, so yeah, we can uh, definitely, definitely remove those for you. Not a problem. All right, so why don't you relax? This is going to be completely painless, so you don't have to worry about a thing. And we're just going to pluck, pluck, pluck those gummy blobs off. So just relax, relax, relax. And if you would like, you can close, close, close your eyes. And we'll just go ahead and we're just going to. See, little gummy blob, but you don't have to worry, see, a little sticky, but they come right off this leg, that, see, no more, and got a couple more in here, oh yeah, look at that one. It's a friendship blob, though. You might want to keep this one. These don't get left behind very often. So you might want to hold on to the uh, friendship blob. Let's see, and then we got one more. Check that one out. So it looks like your new friend left you with about five gummy blocks. Now, if you'd like, you can take these back to your friend. We can dispose of them. Or you can keep them and them back on yourself and carry them around and show that you're a friend of the gummy blobs but I'll put these in a baggie for you and you can take them home but you're a okay so if you ever need a checkup the clinic is always here for you and if not enjoy your time at Alien U bye bye is my voice okay Two eyes. Mm -hmm. 
one nose with one and two nostrils one mouth that you use to eat, drink, speak, and sometimes breathe, but you shouldn't okay. Do you mind if I have a look inside of your ears? I do have a little uh, instrument here, you guys call it an otoscope I would just love to inspect inside of your ears with this Just to see what we have inside Alright, thank you. to the brain from the ear canal once again I guess that's for uh, protection, right? Would you like to have access to your brain from the ear canal? Hmm. Okay And how do you usually keep your ears functioning as they are holes? I guess a lot of things could just get clogged in there Alright, so ear cleanings That's interesting And they're also very pleasant, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I have another cavity I want to check and that would be the mouth, okay? Am I allowed to do so? Thank you, wonderful I have a couple other instruments I'm sure you're pretty familiar with And I'm gonna need them to inspect inside the mouth if you can possibly open wide for me
Greetings. It is an honor to meet you. I am Synthesized Multilingual Etiquette Cyborg. You may call me Smek for short. It is such an honor to meet your species. I have never met one of your kind before. Would you mind if I ask you some questions about how you have felt since you have been here and how your species conducts itself? Thank you. That is very kind. Was this an appropriate response on your planet? Excellent. Would you mind if Smek puts some sensor nodes on your head so that I can analyze your brain activity while I ask you questions? Thank you. That is very kind. Smek will place this on your head. It will not hurt. There. Is that comfortable? Good. Good. One more on the other side. There. Good. That is reading. What I would like to see. Thank you. That is very kind. Now, Smek has some questions for you. Have you felt comfortable in your time here? That is wonderful to hear. Our professor is wonderful at making sure that everyone feels comfortable. Have any of the other students made you feel 
uncomfortable in any way. I see. Wonderful. Have you been asked any questions that have made you feel uncomfortable? I see. And why did that make you uncomfortable? That is personal on your planet. Excellent. That is very good data for Smek. Good, good. Have you been coerced in any way while you are here? Good. That is wonderful to hear. Now, on your planet, what is a customary greeting between strangers? Yes, yes, very good. And when should strangers first touch? What is a handshake? Oh, yes, yes, Smek will try. Oh, Smek apologizes. Smek is very strong, so it is, it is more gentle than that. May, may Smek try again? Oh, thank you. This is a customary greeting. Fascinating. Thank you very much. And what is a customary farewell on your planet? I see. So the handshake is a formal greeting and a farewell. Fascinating. And what if you are more familiar with someone? Is the greeting and farewell the same? What is hug? Oh. May Smek try this? Oh, oh. Smek apologizes. That is not etiquette on your planet. Understood. Hugs not for... Smack. Understood. Wonderful. Thank you very much for visiting our fine establishment here and for answering Smack's questions. Smack will take these things into consideration for future programming. Enjoy your time with the other students. Permettez-moi de vous poser quelques questions. Hmm? Donna, Donna, il semblerait que nous ne soyons pas réglés sur le langage terrestre approprié pour communiquer avec cet humain. Tu peux régler ça, s'il te plaît. Thank you. You can understand me now. That's a relief. I'm sorry about that. It seems that my AI assistant was not set on the appropriate Earth language to communicate with you. My apologies. Yes, yes, I have an AI assistant directly. I'm implanted in my big hairs. Her name is Donna. She is helping me to ask questions to other species. Why? Uh, well, it appears that uh, I'm not very good at asking appropriate questions uh, at the appropriate moment. Uh, 
and so my teachers thought that it could be useful for me to get this uh, this device to uh, improve my social skills with uh, other species is that okay for you yeah okay thank you for understanding so can I ask you a few questions <laughs> okay thank you let's start right away first question how many human specimens did you encounter in your human life so far yes precisely you don't know then how many animal specimens no? No. how many plant vegetable specimen how many type of foods did you try on her precisely you have no idea all right donna it appears we have a problem here hmm? what do you say the questions are too specific oh yes i'm not supposed to collect precise data but ask you more general questions about your life on earth got you did you get that donna mm. so next question what is the meaning and purpose of life on earth what do you mean it's complicated You mean man, many philosophers have tried to... Whoa, 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 whoa. You're losing me there. I, I don't get you. The question is too difficult. Okay. Donna, can you ask the human a simple question? Okay, next question. What is the color of an orange? Why? You think the question is stupid and irrelevant because the answer is already in the question. Uh, but you ask it for a simple question. That's very simple to answer, isn't it? <sighs> Donna, can you please help me here? Donna, we need a question. What do you mean we're running out of time already? But I, I didn't get a single useful answer to write down from that human. Do you realize we're gonna fail this exercise again? Yes, it's entirely your fault. I'm really sorry I'm really sorry uh, but it appears I have to let you go to the next student please don't be mad at me hello my name is Ari so I have some questions for you I actually have lots of questions for you, but I've been told I'm only allowed so much time. I'm supposed to ask you questions, but yes, I am a hologram, but I'm not like wait. You would think I can still touch you. Let's get started. What is your name? Well, that's hard to say. And I suppose we call you Specimen. I call you Specy. Perfect. Okay. And what do you eat? Hmm. It's nothing. It just sounds foul. In the best way. What do 
you do for fun? Nothing. You just can't think of anything else. I see you. You are quite fascinating, Spetsy. Okay. I've heard you have something called cheese. What is that like? Wow. A whole world of cheese. I hope to try it one day. So, when I listen down to your planet, I hear people say, it's not Joe cheese. And I just don't know why people don't share the cheese. Hmm. Alright. Would you mind if I took a look at you? going to take a look into your eyes here, Spatty. And if you could just follow this light with your eyes only. And you don't have any trouble or any sensitivity to this light. And what color is the light? It looks like you're not as advanced as I had once anticipated. Well, it looks like you cannot see the full color spectrum. But that's alright. You will soon. Can you open up your mouth and stick out your tongue and go, ah, for me? That's fascinating. Well, it looks like you have something at the back of your throat that when I when I touch it, you make a loud roar. Fascinating. What does that do, Spessy? Hmm. I see. So you need it to swallow. But why? I'll have to ask the professor. Lastly, can I scan you? Well, this will send all the information back to my system. For further research. Here we go. Well, it was very nice to meet you, Spassy. I wish I had more time with you, but I suppose I should be off. Though, I suppose I could try to come back later after hours when no one's around, and then I could ask you all my questions, but I wouldn't want the professor to catch me. Hmm. Maybe I'll see you soon. Take care, Spassy. Bye.
you at all. Oh, no reason, no reason. I'm just, you know, always looking out for perhaps uh, someone to mentor a little bit more closely. Uh, of course, I'm always on the lookout for a good apprentice and someone who will eventually one day take over my job. Crazy. 